So food scraps are a really great resource as a feedstock. So if you think about what comes off the field when you harvest a crop, think about taking that material and then actually transforming it into products that can go back to grow more plants. We're able to take what would be a waste stream and actually upcycle that material to create our different products. So in order to develop products that actually work on plants, we take a look at the compounds that affect plant growth and we take a look at the soil environment. So in order to do that, we run a battery of tests here in our lab space in Redmond, Washington. What we'll do is we'll take a look at the different compounds, we'll take a look at what happens in the rhizosphere when they're added to the soil environment. We will take a look at plant nutrition and we will evaluate how our products actually impact plants and ultimately yield. So that's everything that we do here in Redmond, but then in order to really test our products, we bring them out to the field. We make sure that we trial our products in a variety of geographic settings across various crop types um, and different soil types. We use third-party researchers as well as universities to make sure that our technology is proven and that it has success out there in the field. Our products impact carbon in the soil by influencing the microbes that live there. This is part of what makes Wiserg and its products great, not only are we diverting uh, what would be a waste stream, but we're actually able to make an impact on carbon in the environment as well. So some of the challenges in agriculture are that we've been addressing the problem of nutrition forever, but we really haven't been looking at more than N, P, and K. Our products look to bridge that gap by providing solutions that work in the interface in the soil environment such that we're actually creating more efficiencies there, you're getting more uplift from the nutrition you are adding, and you're actually accessing nutrients that are already in the soil in many cases. There's more than 133 billion pounds of food wasted in the U.S. every year. That's an incredible amount of food that isn't getting to consumers. What's great is we're actually able to help mitigate some of that problem by using that material and upcycling it to turn it into our products to grow more food.